Hey guys, welcome back, it's Matt here, and today I'm showing you the top 10 Android apps of August for 2016. So the first one up is All-in-One Toolbox. I use this a lot, and it's basically a utility tool that has a load of different options. So the first one is you can clear cache really easily from applications in order to save space on your device. I use this a lot because I like to save space and put photos and videos and stuff instead. I hate having just loads of junk files when I go in my file manager, it's really annoying. Also, you have a boost option where you can clear loads of applications out of your RAM in order to stop your device from getting too hot and also stopping your processor from working so hard so you can actually get a better experience on your device, more fluid and things. So overall, it just speeds up your device basically. You also have a toolbox, which is nice. It has some other additional features like batch uninstall, where you can delete like 10 or 20 apps at once, bulk uninstall stuff, which is good. And you also have backup and restore. So you can actually back up all your apps onto the SD card, put your SD card in your new device, download all in one toolbox and restore them all back on your device. So this saves you from having to download them all again. And overall, it's just a lot quicker, I find, and more convenient for me. So we also have a file manager and we can just do everything like a regular file manager you download from the Play Store, but this is built into the app. So it's really convenient and it's built in because you get a more fluid experience. You can just do a whole bunch of utility things from the one app instead of having to switch around. So you can copy files, move files, rename them, things like that. You can also view your hidden files, your music downloaded, and a whole bunch of stuff. But going back to the home screen, we have boot speed up as well, which actually allows us to disable apps when booting up our device so that it'll actually boot up faster. Now, if you go into settings, you can actually enable boot time speed up so it will show you how fast it's booted up every time you turn on your device. Now, if you tap this little RAM management circle in the middle here, it will automatically clear your RAM and boost your device so you don't have to really do anything. It will automatically do it for you. And overall, it shows you at the bottom how much is cleaned since you've downloaded the app. So I've cleared 14 gigabytes of storage. That is a whole lot of storage there. Now we also have CPU cooler, so in case your device is feeling a bit hot, we can use this to close all the stuff your processor is doing in order to cool your handset down. It's really convenient because I hate having a hot phone in my pocket, and it really is worrying sometimes. In settings, you can change a few things like your SD card path, things like that. There's not too many options, but mess around with it if you want. That's pretty much it. Okay, so the next app up is actually the Google Launcher. So this is Android Nougat Launcher, the Nexus Launcher, however you want to say it. It has the new app drawer you slide up, you have the new folder designs, you also have some settings to allow home screen rotation, as well as the Google Now app on the left. Now a cool thing Google have done is actually remove the search bar, now some people may not like it, but they've replaced it with the button with a G on it. So you can just click on that and you'll get the search bar, it will pop up, and you can just do everything the same as usual, but it takes up a lot less space on your home screen. Anyway, overall I really like this, it's just really minimal, there's not a lot of options to it, but it's the new Google launcher, so why could you not resist downloading it? I'll have the APK down below. Okay, so number three is an app called Recurrence, and this app allows you to make notification reminders based on anything you want. So all you do is you type in the headline as well as the description of what you want to remind yourself on, and it's very simple. You just create your time and your date and whether it's going to repeat. So you could repeat it uh, every Saturday at 10 to remind you to do something, uh, and I like it. It's really good. You have some more settings where you can enable vibrate, you can play a sound when it comes in, and you can display your LED notification light as well and you can also enable it so you have to hit mark as done and if you don't it will keep reminding you which is really handy i use this a lot if i'm forgetting things and i want to remember to do videos and it's just really good now up next is an app called better and this is an application to actually tell you life hacks about a whole load of different topics the main one i use it for is technology obviously because i have a technology channel and i'm really tech savvy and i like to read up on loads of tips and tricks and hacks it's really neat you can like things to rank them on the popular list, as well as share them with other people in case you find them interesting. And overall, they have a various amount of different options. They have health life hacks as well as food, and it's really good. Now, the next app up is called Pop. This allows you to design an app interface just on a sheet of paper and make it into a working application. Now, you may be thinking, whoa, how is that possible? But it's basically you take pictures of your different pages and you can add buttons on the screen. So when you touch a certain area, it will jump to another screenshot. Now, this actually enables you to feel like you're using the app and it gets you more immersed into it. It's really good. I like it a lot and it's really good if you want to develop an app and test it out to see if it will be good for people, see if it's really user friendly uh, before you actually code it and stuff, then it's definitely worth checking this out. Or if you just want to be a bit innovative and you just want to have a mess around with making an app, uh, then it's really fun to do. And you can make web pages with it as well and share it with your friends 
friends and get their ideas and stuff from it. And overall, I find it really fun. It's just really awesome to use because you don't have any programming involved and it's just really basic. So up next is called Stream. This is a YouTube app which allows you to play videos in like a small pop-out window. So you can actually listen to music while doing other stuff on your device. You can obviously make the small screener in the settings or you can make it bigger if you want. Uh, but it allows you to watch content while doing other stuff. So you could be messaging people or looking at Instagram while watching maybe a live video or you could be watching a podcast or something. Then it's definitely really cool. So here we can change the window size. I really wouldn't recommend maximum. Uh, it's a bit too big. But you can also change the theme as well. So you can change it to white or all the other colors just to fit your personal style. But anyway, it's really cool. You can make things your favorite so you can go back and listen to your recent videos and things. And uh, overall, I like it. It's definitely really cool. Now up next is Magnify and this application allows you to get a whole bunch of tags for your Instagram posts. So all you do is you pick the topic of your Instagram post, hit this button and it will copy it to your clipboard. So it doesn't just do that, but that is a great feature. If you go into the side here and hit this little menu button, you can actually schedule a post. So I could actually select a date I wanna upload a photo and I can select a time and actually pick the photo. And it will actually automatically upload it. So you could set this so that it uploads once a week or every day at a certain time. And you can paste in the tags that it recommends as well. So you get loads of likes for them. And I really like this. It's a really great idea if you wanna post things when you're busy or maybe you're away and you've left another device at home to do it. It's really convenient. Now, next one up is Circle Sidebar. This one is like a wheel that comes out of the side of your page. It's kind of like the edge panel for the S7, but it's just a little bit cooler, and obviously not everyone has the edge, so it's an, it's an additional option for people who don't want to dish out the money to get an edge. But it's definitely really cool, and it's got a really nice animation and smooth feel to it, and overall it's just really natural to switch between applications. Now up next is Urban Denoise. This is a really nice and innovative application. It basically is a music player, but it has some additional built-in features which are really cool. So the first one is Noise Around, and this basically allows you to hear other things going on around you. So maybe if you're walking around the city and you wanna be aware of vehicles coming past and uh, people talking to you and going into the shops and talking to people, then you can turn that on. Or if you want the opposite, if you're on a plane, you can get denoisers. So every time your environment around you goes louder, the music will actually go up in volume which is cool so it'll actually block out the surrounding noise really well. Now you also have an option called natural as well and this one allows you to set up your personal preferences for different frequencies and it'll actually do a test on each ear so you can actually set up the best sound quality you can get from your ears and it will match the frequency well so you can set up your hearing profile there and also you can change your microphone here for when you want the volume to move up and down and to hear the conversations outside of the music. So the next one up is called Pixel Filter. This is a battery life saver, and it doesn't just reduce your screen brightness if you're wondering, this actually minimizes the amount of pixels that light up. So one in every four pixel will be turned on instead of four out of four. So not all the pixels are on. It's not obvious, but the resolution does look a lot lower and it saves you a whole lot of battery life. I've been able to get about 50% more battery life using this because pretty much it just minimizes the amount of pixels on and reduces the brightness. But it's definitely really handy if you don't have time to charge your device up or if you're on like a road trip and you don't have a battery pack with you or if you really just want to save power to make emergency calls, this is definitely the way to use your device using pixel filter it's really good and you can also reduce your brightness as well to save power and get other applications like snooze to stop your applications from running so overall these are my top 10 apps i hope you enjoyed all links will be down below as well as my wallpaper so don't forget to comment rate and subscribe thank you so much for watching